Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My dear students, respectable parents and viewers, welcome you all to the Naspur Government Girls High School online class. This is Musammad Rumalayla, an assistant teacher in English, the Naspur Government Girls High School, the Naspur. My dear student, today I will conduct a class of class 7. Subject is undoubtedly English first paper and today we will try to focus on unit 3. My dear student, how are you? Hope you all are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. So my dear student, though we are confined in our house for a long time in the coronavirus situation, we are enough lucky and I think you are very much fortunate that you have got your new textbook in time and you are promotioned to class 7 from class 6. So when you have got your new textbook, different type of questions, different type of asking, different type of excitement is hovering over your head. So to help you in your understanding and to enhance the enjoyment of your learning this is our little effort to give you support in understanding your lesson so my dear student before starting the main class i will suggest you to take your to be ready with your new english textbook this one i hope you like this the um, book and the picture in front of the book very much and you are very much excited to know the uh, contents of this book and the pleasures which are hidden in this book so my dear student be ready with this book take your pen and your exercise book as I have informed you that today we will go through, try to understand uh, unit 3, try to focus on unit 3. So let's write down the title of the unit in your exercise book. <coughs> so my dear student, what is the title of our unit? Unit 3 is, so unit 3. Unit 3 and the title is What W H A T What are Friends for? Have you completed? Hope you have written the title of the unit. Uh, though at first we are uh, we have a different type of problems and hesitations while conducting this type of class and you are not habituated this type of class so after passing a year i hope you are uh, a bit easier little bit easier and uh, it is you are habituated to um, do this type of classes and uh, i hope you will enjoy the class so my dear student uh, uh, before uh, going through the um, unit, you can see if you have the book, uh, play, uh, please open at page number 16. You can see some of the girls and the boys are playing. Can you guess what is the relationship between these girls and boys? Uh, as the title of the unit we have a hints of friend so we can guess that the boys and girls playing uh, in the picture may be friends so my dear student uh, we with a human being we cannot live alone in this earth we are social being uh, we we have different type of relationship such as uh, father, we have father, we have mother, we have siblings, 
we have grandfather grandmother uh, we have aunt but apart from this relationship we have another relationship this is called what yes this is called our friends with whom we can share our likings our dislikings our desires our happiness our sorrow our grief without any hesitation don't you feel this yes i hope you can feel the need of friends in our life so my dear student i hope you will enjoy reading the text so as english is an is a foreign language for us so before going through the text and before understanding the meaning of the text it is mandatory for us to know the meaning of some of the keywords so let's start and take your pen write down the keywords in your exercise book so uh, if we go to lesson 1 the title of lesson 1 is prize giving day at school so the name of unit 3 is what are friends for and unit 3 is consist of a uh, some lessons and each lesson has another name so the name of lesson 1 is what lesson 1 we can write like this 1 o n e 1 okay lesson 1 the name of lesson 1 is prize giving here is a hyphen day at school i hope you all uh, miss the functions and festivals in our school we also have prize giving day at our school but in this situation we cannot arrange this type of festivals and we cannot observe this type of ceremonies in our school so my dear student uh, we have three keywords so i suggest you uh, to write down the words at first in your exercise book the first one is eminent eminent the next one is outstanding outstanding and number three is performance performance okay and you must be very conscious while writing the words in your exercise book because these words are new for you and you must be conscious about the spelling of these words my dear student hope you have written three words in your exercise book and you are very much eager to know the meaning of these words okay the first word is eminent so the meaning of eminent is famous do you know the meaning of famous in bengali hope you know and for your better understanding i must inform you that the bengali meaning of famous is bikkhato bikkhato nam kora okay so my dear student our next synonym synonym means samartho shabdo the word eminent may means famous or the same meaning is distinct guist distinct guist okay our next word is outstanding outstanding the meaning of outstanding is remarkable okay 
take the words remarkable. So what is the meaning of remarkable? Remarkable means in Bengali we can say Ullek Jokko. Ullek Jokko. Next we have performance. This word is very much common to us and we use in our day to day, -to -day conversation in this word. Your performance was good, your performance was not good, you have to do better to give good performance. This type of sentence we use and this word is used frequently in our conversation. So the, the meaning of performance is synonym is execution or action. In Bengali we can say kritito. I hope you have got the meaning of these three sentences, uh, sorry, three words. And for your better understanding, for your better understanding, apart from the key words, I will give more words for your, for your help. And from these words, you can get help to understand the text so now go to your exercise book and write down some more new words we have a word area next you will write holiday holiday. Next you write occasion. Occasions. My dear student, can you see the words I have written in the board? Take this word in, the, in your exercise book. Next Annual report. Report. Next. Visit. Another word. Activity. activity the last one is display display one two three four five six seven we have written another seven words in the board i hope most of you know the meaning of this word but for your better understanding, we will give the meaning, we try to give the meaning of these words in your exercise book. So, write down the meaning of these words in your exercise book and after you complete your writing, I will give the answers and then you will match the given meaning of mine and with your yours my dear student hope you have tried your best to write down the meaning of the given words in your exercise book now match your writing with the given one so the first word was area so the meaning of area is region or zone region or zone some uh, while giving the acquaintance of his father uh, some of you say my father is a journal officer journal head so here is zone next holiday the word holiday means vacation or off day when we don't have any activities in our school School 
or any res respective sectors. <coughs> Occasions means a special event, a special happening or ceremony maybe. Annual report. Annual means final. Report means to give the result. So, annual report means in Bengali we can say Barshik Protivedon. In Bengali we can say Barshik Protivedon. Next we have a word visit. Visit may be the synonym of visit is look up or see. Next another word activity. Activity means action. Next the word is display. Some of you saw uh, the display of my camera is not working. The display of this phone has been um, has a disturbed, so I cannot see your face. So display means show or exhibit. Show or exhibit. Hope you have took all the you have taken all the words in your exercise book and try to understand the meaning. And when we will. Uh, have the meaning in our heart and in our brain then the English text will not be more hard harder for us so my dear student uh, hope you have taken this and now we will try to go through the text So in activity A, we are instruct we, we have an instruction here, and the, I I am reading the instruction for you. Look at the picture and discuss the following questions. We are instructed to look at the picture and discuss the following questions. Who can you see in the picture? Question number two. What are they doing? If we are conducting the class in our conventional way, then you are in front of myself and you are sitting beside your peer and friends and you can discuss among yourself about the questions. So, in this system, we don't have this type of facilities. So, I try to give the answers of this question. So, question number one, what can you see in the picture? I can see a lady and some boys in this picture. And what are, a, what are they doing? Uh, I see here the boys are taking something from the lady or woman. Uh, you may give another question, another answer if you think so. So, my dear student, uh, we go to uh, activity number B, and here we are instructed. Instruction is read the text about a prize giving ceremony. Read the text about a prize giving ceremony. So, we are instructed to read the text. <laughs> Farabi is Flora's best friend. They live in the same area. Also, they are both in class 7, but they go to different schools. It is a school holiday. Flora has come to visit Farabi. They are talking. Flora wants to know about the prize giving ceremony of Farabi's school. Yesterday was our school prize giving day. Farabi says, On this occasion, our school auditorium and its dais were brightly decorated. Prizes were also neatly displayed 
on a separate table on the dais. All the students were present at the function, among others, the guardians and some eminent person of the locality attend the function. Farabi continues, the principal of PN College was the chief guest. When did the function start? Flora asked. Oh, it started on time, just at 4 p.m. Farabi says, our head teacher first read out the annual report. Then the chief guest gave a short speech. He highly praised the overall performance of the school and its excellent JSC and SSC exam results. Then he gave, he gave away the prizes among the students for their outstanding activities. Did you get, get any prize, Farabi? Flora inquires. Yes, I did, Farabi replies. I have got two prizes, one for regular attendance and the other for good results in the last annual exams. So my dear student, try to read the text loudly in your home and if you have any problem in understanding the meaning of the text please inform me this on the comment box and repeated reading of a text will enhance your understanding and your speaking capacity and when you are habituated to go through the English text, you will have automatically the power of speaking English and deliver your speech in English. So while reading the text, must be careful about the uses of words and try to understand the meaning of the sentence. I hope you have understood the meaning of the sentence as all the keywords and all the new words and their meanings has been discussed earlier. <coughs> My dear student, uh, as English is an activity-based subject, so we have a lot of activities before and after each and every reading text. So go to page number 18 and here activity C, we are instructed here to match words with their meanings. So the given words are visit, ceremony, eminent, praise, outstanding, display. I hope you have understood the meaning of the words and you will not have any difficulty while matching with the meanings of these words because before starting our reading we have discussed a lot on the word meanings of this lesson so the meanings are speak highly of something or somebody number two extremely good go to see a person or place put something in a place where you can see it easily. Function, people having lots of power and influence. So, try to match the words in your exercise book. And I instruct you to do this in your exercise book now. And after this, I will help you to match this. So my dear student, I am helping you and you have to take this as your homework. Visit. Yes, with visit, we can, we can match this with 
go to see a person or place. Can you guess it? Okay. Next, we have ceremony. So, what will be the matching meanings of ceremony? Uh, function. Okay. Function. Next, eminent. Eminent means people having lots of power and influence. Okay. Praise. Next, praise. Yes, the meaning of praise will be speak highly of something or somebody. Speak highly of something or somebody. Next, we have another word, outstanding. So, what will be the meaning of outstanding? It may be, it should be extremely good. Okay? Next, display. So, the meaning of display will be put something in a place where you can see it easily. I hope you have guessed the meaning and you can do the matching in your home by yourself without taking the help of others. So, do it as your homework next we have another instruction here activity d ask and answer in pairs make questions and then choose answers from this table so before doing this i must suggest you to go through the text again because you have to do these things from by taking through taking the information from the text if you go through the text frequently and repeatedly then the activity the questions and the asking of the activity will automatically be easier to you so in your home you must do activity C and D and when you do this type of activity after reading the text you will have better understanding and you will ask, you will solve any type of questions and uh, you will be capable of giving answers any type of questions from this text. So my dear student, we have tried a lot to go through the text and understanding the meaning and I have, uh, I hope, I have a hope in my heart that you have underst underst understood the meaning of the text. My dear student, uh, we have to pray to our uh, creator uh, to meet with either each other so the uh, the situation uh, be the uh, earlier and you must keep yourself at home be keep yourself safe and when you are outside your home please wear mask and when you return from home please wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water Keep yourself so and safe and stay at home. Till then, Allah Hafiz.